ERCOT. So that was a big game for you. And for other Bitcoin miners, is playing a demand response. You know, you guys had this Bitcoin mining load. You guys could drop it at a second, give that energy back to the market, grab a cash bag there, keep on rolling, help out the grid. But like you said earlier, you can't really do that if there's 100% uptime. How are you guys thinking about that? Is like that ERCOT trade for you guys kind of dead? Yeah, that part of the business, like curtailing the site, you know, flipping the on and off switch, it's not something that we're going to do moving forward. I think, yeah. as you said, it was a big part of our business. We were very yeah. successful doing it. It's just a different type of power management strategy. And fortunately, we're at a site that is extremely reliable. We've mm-hmm. never had downtime issues. We have no force curtailment. That's not an element at all. So yeah. we will be online 24-7. ERCOT is a very stable grid. Like yeah. I, I know that there's been a lot of concern um, following, I guess it was probably February 2021, where you know there were some less than ideal instances and, and real problems. But it's a very stable grid. And I don't think that there's going to be a lot of forced outages in the future. Yeah. Now, that being said, we also understand that if there is an emergency situation, we can stop pulling from the grid, yeah. we'll turn on our backup generation, we'll keep the site online, we'll, we'll stay off, and when our cost says it's okay, we'll come back online and we'll have the ability to do that. Okay. But it won't be a part of our you know, economic strategy yeah. or really it's more of an emergency strategy as part of our operations.